Good day everyone. Welcome to our Fisheries Professionals Licensure Examination Review. This review is intended for those fisheries graduates and students who will take the fisheries board exam. In this video, we are going to respond to some possible board exam questions. But before we proceed, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to get notified when we upload new videos. So let us start! Number 16. What type of carrageenan is extracted from Yukuma denticulato? A. Kappa carrageenan B. Ayota carrageenan C. Lambda carrageenan or letter D. Beta carrageenan The answer for this question is letter B, Ayota carraginan. In our country, the Philippines, we have various species of seaweeds. A few of them are Yukuma, Paularpa, Sargassum, Philadelphia, and Glacilaria. Among these species of seaweeds, only the Yukuma can be cultivated on a large scale and has a high content of carraginan. And according to FAO 2018, an estimated 70 to 80 percent of the world's production of carraginan is derived from Yukuma. And in terms of seaweeds production, the Philippines ranks third all over the world behind China and Indonesia. And here we have the table of typical characteristics of the major taxa within the tribe Yukuma Toidae, resulting from vegetative tendencies got from the lecture of Dr. Welfred Jensen Chanyes. With this, we can compare the various characteristics of the tribe Yukumaitoidea and when we're talking about the type of carrageenan structured from them, among the tribe, species such as the denticulatum, isoforme of section Yukuma and species Amoldea or Amoldi from section Anaxiferae have the iota type of carrageenan while sections Gelatiformia and Kafapaikus have beta and kappa carrageenan types, respectively. Number 17. Which of the following choices is considered as a faster and more efficient way to dry seaweeds? Which of the following choices is considered as a faster and more efficient way to dry seaweeds? A. Spin drying method. Letter B, hanging method. Letter C, solar dryer technology. Or letter D, elevated platform. The answer for this question is letter C, solar dryer technology. Among the choices, as of now, solar dryer technology considered as the faster and more efficient way to try seaweeds. Number 18. What ingredient serves as a cryoprotective agent for the minced fish meat in Sarimi? A. Spices B. Vinegar C. Solar salt or letter D. Sugar The correct answer for this question is letter D, sugar. When we talk about sarimi, it is a Japanese term for a semi-processed frozen minced fish protein. It involves various processes such as mincing of fish flesh, washing in cold water, wherein this method is known as the leaching, which it involves the washing of the minced fish two to three times with ice water having a ratio of one is to four an addition of 0.2 to 0.3% of salt. Leaching is done to attain the following. First, the elasticity or the gel forming property. Second, removal of fat, skin, and blood, thus improving the color and appearance of fish flesh. Third, removal of off odors. And last, adding flavors to suit consumer taste. 
then next to that is this training, drying, and mixing with food grade additives or the cryoprotectants such as the sugar and polyphosphate. This is used in a wide variety of fish mince products, for example, the kamabuko, fish sausage, fish balls, fish patties, and among others. Number 19. The length of time that the fish will remain edible in ice depends on many factors, except 1. Species 2. Size 3. Fat content 4. Feeding and breeding cycle 5. Method of capture A. 1, 2, and 3 Letter B. 1, 2, 3, and 4 Letter C. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 or letter D, none of these. The correct answer for this question is letter D, none of these. The length of time that the fish will remain edible in ice depends on many factors such as species, size, method of capture, fat content of fish, and feeding and breeding cycle. So generally, fish from warm water or tropical keeps longer than fish from temperate water. This is due to their bacteria flora. Psychotrophic bacteria is often slower on ice tropical than on ice temperate water fish. Also, non-fatty fish keeps longer than fatty fish and freshwater fish keeps longer than marine fish. The storage life of fish stored in ice is presented here in Table 1. Results of this table reveal that temperate marine fish can be stored in ice for 10 to 15 days, while tropical fish for 15 to 20 days. Similarly, temperate freshwater fish can be stored in ice for 12 to 20 days while tropical freshwater fish for 15 to 20 days. Question number 20. The smoke has both antioxidant and bactericidal properties. The bactericidal properties of this smoke are mainly due to blood. A. Phenols B. Carbonyl and organic acids Letter C. Carbocyclic acid and phenols or letter D, cyclic hydrocarbons. The answer for this question is letter A, phenols. Smoking is a very old preservation method and is widely used in many developing countries. Smoking or smoke curing is applied to preserve fish through combination of four accelerated processes such as dissolving, drying, heat treatment, and deposition of chemicals produced from the burning wood or smoke. The effects of smoke to the products includes antioxidant and bactericidal properties, smoky flavor, and the result of incomplete combustion, slow burning fire will produce more smoke than intense fire. Then, preservation is due more to drying and cooking than to the smoke. For smoking purposes, almost any kind of hardwood may be used, while softwood is not recommended due to its resinous nature and the tendency to impart active flavor and odors. Number 21. What is canning style with brine? as the only main ingredient. What is scanning style with brine as the only main ingredient? A. Spanish Letter B. Japanese Letter C. Salmon or Letter D. French The correct answer for this question is Letter C. When we talk about Japanese style, it is a canning style with soy sauce. While Spanish, tomato sauce is the main ingredient. And for French, this is for spicy mackerel. Question number 22. 
Question number 22. Which of the following fish has the highest fat content? Which of the following fish has the highest fat content? Letter A, carp. Letter B, round scud. Letter C, red snapper. Or letter D, round fish. The answer for this question is letter A, heart. According to Espejo Hermes 2004, the fat in fish ranges from 0.2 to 25%. However, in tropical species, the amount of fat rarely exceeds 5%. Variation in the proportion of fat is reflected in the percentage of water since fat and water usually make up around 80% of the flesh. The amount of fat in fish is relatively small compared to pork, beef, and chicken meats. Fish lipids differ from mammalian lipids mainly because fish lipids consist of long-chain fatty acids which are highly unsaturated. Fish fat is rich in high-grade polyunsaturated fatty acids, the so-called omega-3. Two of the seven omega-3 fatty acids such as eicosapentaenoic acid or EPA and the cosahexanoic acid or DHA which prevent heart diseases are not found in beef, pork, nor in any vegetables. It also decreases blood circulatory diseases. So here, we have attached a table of the proximate composition of some Philippine aquatic products from the book of Spiho Hermes 2004. Be familiar with those compositions because some of them you may encounter during the examination. Number 23. Which of the following is the proper characteristics of a fish processing plant? Which of the following is the proper characteristics of a fish processing plant? Letter A. Drinking fountains are located near the hand washing sinks. Letter B. The plant has double walls to ensure protection against rodents. Letter C. The floor is loop between 1A to 3A inch per foot. Or letter D. Employees are wearing synchronized witch watches. The answer for this question is letter C. The floor is loop between 1 inch to 3 inch inch per foot. Number 24. What contributes to the rancidity of fish protein concentrate? What contributes to the rancidity of fish protein concentrate? A. Breakdown of proteins. Letter B. Release of sulfur. Letter C. Dissolution of sodium and calcium ions. Or letter D. Oxidation of fat. The correct answer for this question is letter D. Oxidation of fat. When we talk about rancidity, it is the unpleasant odor or color that develops when fats or lipids changes or have undergone oxidation. This can be toxic and accelerated by exposure to air. It is characterized in its early stage by a distinguished fishy odor and flavor followed by an unpleasant taint described as linseed oil or paint. Number 25. What systematic approach identifies, evaluates, and controls risks that are important to food safety? What systematic approach identifies, evaluates, and controls risks that are important to food safety? Letter A, ISO or ISO. Letter B, SSOP. Letter C, GHP. Or letter D, has up. The correct
correct answer for this question is letter D, HASAP. HASAP or HASAP is mainly concerned with manufacturing food that is safe to eat. This system is based on the assumption that safety and quality hazards exist at various points from capture or harvest to consumption. HACCP is necessary because, first, it has been proven as the most effective method instituting food safety. Second, critical areas are closely monitored so that the risk of manufacturing or selling and safe products are reduced to the minimum. And thus, quality benefits due to increased awareness of hazards and participation of people involved in the operation. Meanwhile, ISO is a non-governmental organization that comprises standard bodies from more than 160 countries with one standards body representing each member country. ISO are national standards organizations that collaborate in the development and promotion of international standards for technology, scientific testing processes, working conditions, societal issues, and more. ISO 9000 is defined as a set of international standards on quality management and quality assurance. While ISO 9001, it is a quality system requirement for product development, production, delivery, and after-sales production. ISO 9002 is a quality system requirement for production and delivery. ISO 9003 is a quality system requirement for final inspection and test. Then, the ISO 9004 gives guidelines for ISO 9000 quality system elements. When we talk about SSOP, it addresses the sanitation concerns of the company and will vary from facility to facility because each facility and processes is designed differently. SSOP are components of GMP, emphasizing sanitation procedures. The sanitation standard operating procedures are as follows. First, safety of water that conducts food and food surfaces. Second, condition and cleanliness of food contact surfaces. Third, measures to prevent cross-contaminations. Fourth, employee hygiene practices. Fifth, control of employee health conditions that could result in contamination of food and food contact surfaces. Six, protection of food, food contact surfaces from adulteration with toxic and harmful components. Seven, is the proper labeling, storage, and use of toxic, and last, the control of pests. Then, when we talk about good hygiene practices or the GHP, it forms the basis of all food hygiene systems that support the production of safe and suitable food. Food business operators must be aware of hazards that could affect their food and ensure that such hazards are properly managed to protect consumer health. Also, GHP or good hygiene practices are the foundation of any effective food safety management program and implementing them gives food business operators a system for controlling food safety hazards that is according to pow.org. Number 26. What color of sea or chingonads are most preferred by the Japanese market? What color of sea or chingonads are most preferred by the Japanese market? A. Dark brown B. Greenish yellow C. Bright yellow or letter D, bright orange. The answer for this question is letter D, bright orange. Sea urchins are a species of spiny marine invertebrate animals 
with a gubular body and a radial arrangement of organs shown by five bands of pores running from mouth to anus over the test or internal skeleton. Mainly, they feed on macroalgae or seaweeds for their nutrition. Sea urchins is also known as sea hedgehogs. In Japan, it is known as uni, which more precisely the urchins gonads. And in the Philippines, it is locally known as maritangtang or kudun kudun. The most commercially exploited sea origin species in the Philippines is Trypnostes crotilia. These echinoids are recruited heavily due to their high export demand. In the 1970s, export of this commodity gave lucrative livelihood to many fisher families in Bulinao, Pangasinan. They are considered a culinary delicacy in many places around the world particularly in Japan, Taiwan, Hong Kong, and Korea. Origin eggs or raw are especially sought after due to its great taste akin to lobster and are believed to be a powerful aphrodisiac. Sea origins gonads traditionally is divided into three grades based on flavor, color, and freshness. Grade A is the highest and most expensive while grade C is considered less desirable and grade B is in the middle. Most of the world's uni or sea urchin gonads is eaten in Japan. This grade of sea urchin should have a sweet, rich flavor, orange color, and a creamy texture. The lower grades of sea urchin may have a stronger flavor and a more grainy texture. Avoid sea urchin that have a grayish color or a foul odor. Another quality to consider is the size of sea urchin. Bigger sea urchins tend to have more raw. However, larger sea urchins may also have a stronger taste. So, it's important to balance size with flavor. Number 27. Why is the labeling of the product significant? Why is the labeling of the product significant? 1. Because there are legal enactments for labeling requirements. 2. Because it carries some basic information about the product regarding the queries and concerns of the buyers. 3. Because it gives an eye appeal to consumers. Or 4. Because it can improve the marketing of the products. A. 1 and 2. Letter B, 2 and 3 Letter C, 3 and 4 Or letter D, 4 and 1 The correct answer for this question is letter A, 1 and 2 our laws require that product must have labels to carry some basic information such as name of the product which must be stated clearly, name and address of manufacturer, repacker, or distributor, list of ingredients in the sending order, AVS weight down to the lightest weight, metric net contents in weight or volume, Net weight of the product excluding the container is stated in metric units of measurement, country of manufacturer for AC trace, and additionally, information on nutritional facts such as the protein content, fat content, and others has to be included in the labeling of the processed foods such as aquatic products, and lastly, the expiry date marking. Number 28 which of the following fishery products is not applicable for the vacuum pack method? A. Smoked softbone milk fish Letter B. Dried pool fish Letter C. Marinated butterfly fillet fish Or Letter D. Fish raw The correct answer for this question is letter D, fish roll. 
the reason why fishwork cannot be vacuum packed because it will shrink during the process and will be unpleasant to look at for consumers. Number 29. What country has 57 as the first two digits on its barcode? What country has 57 as the first two digits on its barcode? Letter A, Japan. Letter B, United Arab Emirates. Letter C, Denmark. Or letter D, China. The answer for this question is letter C, Denmark. In almost all developed countries, Three pack food products bear barcodes. Barcoding helps large retailers improve their inventory control, and there are two widely used standard coding systems Universal Product Code and European Article Numbers. The code must consist of 13 digit numbers. The first two digits identify the country of origin, the next five identify the manufacturer number and the last five identifying the product number or the item number followed by a check digit and a quiet zone. The first two to three digits of the barcode as I mentioned earlier is the country wherein the product was made. With this, we have here a list of some of the first two to three digits of the barcode of various countries. So, please take note of this. Number 30. The following are halophilic bacteria responsible for the flavor of the fish sauce during the fermentation process, except the following are halophilic bacteria responsible for the flavor of fish sauce during the fermentation process, except A. Staphylococcus, letter B. Sodomonas, letter C. Microcopus or letter D coreniforms. The answer for this question is letter B, so the monas. Fish sauce or batis in the Philippines is a clear liquid sauce with strong yellow to amber in color. This product results from the slow digestion or fermentation of salted fish and a subsequent separation of solid from the liquid portion of the hydrolysate. The flavor of fish sauce is due to halophilic bacteria such as coreniforms, streptococcus, micrococus, staphylococcus, and bacillus species. The flavor arises from free amino acids such as glutamic acid, alanine, lysine, aspartic acid, leucine, or valine, and peptides. Fish sauce in Thailand is called Nam Pla. In Vietnam, it is known as Nook Mam. In Laos, it is called Nam Pa. In Myanmar, it is known as Ngan Gai Yai. In Cambodia, fish sauce is called Tik Tre. In China, it's known as Yono. In Japan, it's called Yosho. Another name is Yooshoyo. While in Korea, fish sauce is known as Yeojo. Before we end this session, we have here a question to answer. Wherein, you can type your answer on the comment section. To hasten the fermentation process, some of the producers add incense to their fish paste. And one of the incense utilized is bromelain, which comes from what material? So that ends our review questions. I hope you learned a lot from this video. See you in the next session. Thank you.